Ahem. Ahem. Okay. Well, I'm a, I'm a man of my word, and I, I said I was going to give away an RG. I did say U.S. I typed it. I should have said it out loud, but U.S. and Canada only. Um, due to the global poopdemic uh, continuing to stuff international mail deliveries, I said U.S. and Canada only. I know I can mail stuff to Canada and obviously America with varying levels of success. Recently, a few Gundam kits that were sent to me by a proxy uh, who has become quite a decent buddy online. Um, three. P-Bandai. Well, well, yeah. Yeah, three P-Bandais just got eaten by UPS. Evaporated. Basically about $400 worth of kits. Gone. Either way, I'm having more trouble giving away this real grade Crossbone X1. Uh, I'm having more trouble giving this away than I did my virginity back in the day, okay? I mean, that was a struggle. This is almost harder. So the dude in Australia who guessed right was in Australia. Sent him a $25 Amazon gift card. FYI. Because we couldn't mail him this thing. Even if I could, I mean, I could have mailed it. If it wasn't a million dollars, I would have mailed it to him. Australia is not allowing international priority mail, first class mail, package service, etc., etc. Just Global Express guaranteed. And that, I might as well have bought him a small used motorcycle. Um, so either way, I went to the runner-up, okay? Um, uh, who guessed the closest without going over? Or no, who guessed the amount? He guessed six. And that's how many bottles I dumped. I emailed the guy, girl, person, they, them, him, she, work, them, X, Z, whatever. I emailed the person. They never responded. Forfeit. The next closest guest of five bottles, pretty close, um, they weren't subscribed. <laughs> Sorry, rules are rules. So either way, we still got to try to figure out how to give this sucker away. If anybody can guess... Um, what my wife got me for Christmas, you'll win it. I'm kidding. We'll come up with something good during this episode. Part three is upon us. And we are in the throes of water slide decal hell. I mean, it's not hell. I mean, there's not that many water slide decals. There's this big sucker. The big ones are scary, but you know, the little ones, they're okay. I've really got to get some new overhead lighting in here. I just got to uh, get up the gumption to call the damn electrician. I love my electrician. He does great work for a fair price as far as electricians go. Even a fair price with an electrician is still a lot of money. <laughs> so either way, we're doing water slides. After the water slides, I'm hitting them with the, uh, the auto lacquer. It doesn't matter what kind. It's semi-gloss clear. It's not Tamiya, and uh, let me cover up my hot water. Uh, Tamiya TS-13 Gloss is what I would normally, like you would think this is fine. I'm out of, I think, oh no, I might have some more Mr. Hobby Super Clear Gloss. This is fine. However, however, if you ever use TS-80 Flat Clear Tamiya Paint, Tamiya Paint, I like saying Tamiya. It's just fun. It's just fun. Um, this crap will eat the shit out of decals. I mean, it will devour them. It will... I don't know if anyone saw the movie Inner Space with Martin Short. Um, but yeah, it's basically when the bad guy fell into the stomach acid. This stuff just destroys decals. Um, I accidentally sprayed the gloss, Tamiya, TS-13, on some decals. Um, it didn't eat them. Maybe this is fine. I don't want to risk it. Either way... We have so many clears, so many different cans, so much money in clear. Honestly, the amount of clear coat in this kit costs more than most normal uh, Robotech kits, like even 48th scale. I highly doubt you have a kit more expensive than the amount of clear and other paint supplies I've used just to paint this beast. Uh, but yeah, that being said, we're going to get all the water slides on it. Um, I got the other fast pack to do after this. And then we're done with the actual model kit as purchased with water slides. Got to do all those damn missiles. And the missile pod, the rocket pod, ever, those are going to be a pain. Those are, whatever, you know. You know what it is. Little tiny water slides everywhere in the universe. At least it's not, you know, doing a master grade, um, you know, P-1000 
Bandai Gundam kit water slides. Oh my god, imagine actually putting those. Some people do it, they put every single one on there. It looks great. You guys do beautiful work. Beautiful. I don't think I have the patience for that. At least on a little, little, you know, six to eight inch tall Gundam model. This thing is massive. It's getting every decal that is called out on the decal instructiones. All right, so either way, we'll be back with more yummy giant robot awesome goodness. BRB. All right, <clears throat> so we're decaled, we're detail painted, we're clear coated. <clears throat> we are ready for panel lining. This thing's enormous. There's a lot of it. There's many uh, square inches. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of cubes to fill here. We're gonna do a slightly different version of panel lining. <clears throat> the tank guys know this. Uh, the scale air guys know this. A lot of people, a lot of people know this. It's a wash. Um, it's kind of like a panel lining in in carpet bombing form. So we see the bottom here. We've already got a decent paint finish, you know, with the highlight shadow coat and main color. Um, what we did was we took some black panel liner and we took some, uh, you know, odorless mineral spirit, white spirit, whatever the hell you want to call it this week. Um, big brush. We thinned it down a lot. I know it still looks pretty black. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is going to scare the shit out of some people. It scares the shit out of me because this kit costs a lot and we just we did yes all over the damn thing just 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 annihilate it okay and it's in every line now it looks like shit yeah I get it okay let me paper towel very quickly this is at least how I do it Ugh, which is probably wrong um, And look at that! Basically massive. We filled every rivet and panel line fairly well. Um, we did manage to goop up the other side. With some bleed through. Don't worry. We're gonna. That'll wipe out when we do this side, which is just as freaking scary. Okie dokie. Wish me luck. We're going in. And we're done. <clears throat> Fastest panel lining in the east. Because I'm not in the west. Okay. So, we did manage it's just when you when you mess up you just put on more and rub there we go that's looking pretty good now i mean is it perfect is it as perfect as if you very tediously and meticulously panel lined it no but it looks pretty good okay and this is a monster model i mean this thing's visible from space so from space, it's good. From right up close, you might find some minor imperfections. Once you let this dry, once you do a flat clear over it, we may even do a little, nah, screw it. I don't know if we're doing weathering. Like chipping and streaking and it may be a little excessive, but either way, um, we're gonna, yeah. We'll do a, uh, what if Roy Fokker never died? Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm gonna go put this down. I got a lot more to do, so I'll, I'll be back with more bullshit. Okay. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ha-ha. I figured out the giveaway. We're gonna, we, we gotta give this damn thing away. I said I was giving it away. I'm gonna give it away. One of you people's gonna figure this out, okay? And it's not that hard. Well, for the Macross and Robotech people. Gundam people, you may be at a disadvantage. Do some Google searches. I don't know. Valkyrie, uh, Super Strike Valkyrie. Um, we're done with the nose section. Uh, I decided against streaking, grime, and chipping. 
because I always go overboard. If anyone's seen my tank builds, I just get, I get carried away and it looks like, well, you know, very weathered and chipped. With this, it's, you know, it's in space. I mean, I could have done some chipping on the nose, but we got a good fade on the paint. I know, like micro, uh, micro meteorites, whatever. Okay, let's figure they have really good paint in Macross. Okay, what is wrong with my paint job? Okay, and not like general critiques, like there's something missing. There's something missing. First person to tell me what's missing, like a glaring omission, even though it's small. You know, there's the cockpit, look at that. Look at the little pilot. Roy Fokker all painted up, movie style, okay? Let me know what's missing. All right, all right, that's it. That's all you're getting to see. That's, that's it, all right? Pay attention. And I really effed up, so I can't fix it. But to be honest, um, you people, a few of you, will be the only ones that'll know. Oh, Ian forgot to do that. Oh, that would drive me nuts. It's going to bother me a little, but whatever. I'll get over it. Figure it out, guess it, win the damn Gundam. Please, you gotta be in the United States of America. You could also be at an FPO, APO. Thank you for your service to our beautiful people in the armed services. If you are at an APO, FPO, I will send this damn thing to you as well. So you could be in the Navy, the Air Force, the Army, the Marines, uh, the Space Force, whatever. As long as you have an APO, FPO mailing address, United States of America, Canada, or APO, FPO, this damn thing is your... I, well, not this damn thing. Uh, this is yours, okay? And if you're at an APO, FPO in Japan, you obviously don't need the damn thing, so maybe don't guess. Leave it for someone else who can... who needs it more. Uh, but... or you're on a military salary and you don't have money to spend on a real grade, I will still send it to you. APO, FPO, United States of America and Canada... Um, because you guys build really all the good American muscle cars for the most part, except for those Chargers and Challengers. Guys, stop making them. They're driving us crazy down here. They're terrorizing us. To Canada, stop making the Hellcats. Either way, um, next step is uh, I gotta do uh, water slides on all those big missiles and the rocket pods. We're gonna get those water slides done, and at that point, we're gonna put this together and you're gonna see the finished product after probably another dry tribe about doing all the water slides on the missiles. So, BRB and good luck to the guessers. Oh, uh, hello, welcome back. Uh, we're near the end, we are, we are near the end. At some point in this video, there was a question um, where you can, someone will hopefully from the US finally win that damn real grade crossbone. You gotta watch the whole video to catch it. It's, it's you know, there's a question. If you figure it out, not that hard if you're a big Macross or or of your modeler that builds a lot of these things. Either way, this is all we got left. The armament set. This armament set um, was like a hundred something bucks. But I mean, it's so worth it. The thing just looks way more badass with giant missiles and rockets all over it. Sorry, missiles and missiles. Because those are not rockets. Rockets! Rockets! In, in parlance of um, armaments are a projectile uh, propelled by an internal propellant um, and are unguided rockets. Just, just, you know, it's like you're shooting them off for fire. It's like fireworks, basically, but they go kaboom or bigger. So missiles, missiles are guided um, devices that are self-propelled, such as, you know, wire-guided, laser-guided, or they could be self-guided, you know, heat-seeking or whatever. Uh, either way. There we go. Yeah, I, just, there we go. Getting a little nerdy diatribe. So this thing... Uh, this is a nice set, actually, except they still needed a little bit of, a lot, well, or in some cases, a lot of sanding and filling and cursing. Um, either way, you know, there's basic, simple build instructions. Um, they have it for the MF-37, which is a Super Strike, and they have it for the MF-25, which is the non-Super Strike version. And they want you to, like, move one of the drill points over a bit, probably to, I mean, m maybe enable a little more swing of the wingy action. I don't know. I glued my wings static in a full forward position because I don't want them moving around because if they swung back with these missiles on um, there's I mean even with CA glue there's a chance they could break off and there's other chance just paint damage in general I don't want to do it so I'm not taking the chance so we're going with pattern one I like pattern one it's cool pattern 
Pattern two is another op. Well, this was another option. Um, we have pattern one, pattern two, pattern. What the hell? I don't know why. You want all the things on one wing and all these on the other wing? It looks a little lopsided. So we're doing with this one. Um, decals, decal information, information on decals. Uh, we're not using those little air-to-air -air missiles because we're not in the air. <laughs> Lack thereof. So comes with a really, really thorough sheet of water slide decals. Honestly, these are way more decal dense than the actual model kit itself. I've been looking at other people's builds for inspiration and for, you know, just, just checking out, making sure I'm doing the right colors. And There's like a little 170 second scale Hasagawa has way more decals in some cases. 148, you know, the other brands that make them, way more decals. Um, uh, whatever. So this, the model itself is a little light. Uh, I mean, it has all the all the major ones you need, but it could use a few more little things. The, the model's overall lacking some detail, uh, which quite often can happen when people go big scale. You'd assume the bigger you go, the easier it is to put in all the details. And yes, that's true, but it's also uh, still, it's, I think it's more expensive because the mold is so much bigger. Who knows, but yeah, it's kind of like... There's smaller scale models with way more details uh, molded into them than, than this thing has, but this thing is all about freaking utterly amazing shelf presence. That's all it's for, okay? That's it. The only people who want this thing are like, they need this masterpiece, gigantic thing in their, in their lives. Um, but either way, let's shut the hell up and start decaling some, uh, some missiles, all right? I'll be back, comrades. Oops. Oh my god! Um, okay, I mean, that's a quick, quick see. Look, we got some of the decals on there. I'm not gonna use every single one. Um, cause these are the worst damn water slides I've ever used! Oh, god, sorry to yell, guys. Um, the DX de decal sheet that was by itself that I got for the actual kit were made in JA Pan, where everything is done very well. The Japanese just, they just, they, they see a thing, they do the same thing, but they do it a lot better, and these aren't Japanese decals. I'm, um, I, I have to. They are the most delicate, crappy water slides I've ever used my entire life. If you dip them too long, they wrinkle up and break. If you dip them too short, they rip apart because they don't slide proper. It's like exactly six seconds in hot water, and they're ready to go. And then they, they don't slide it. They're not like the DX decals. So if you get the armament kit, be very, very careful with these decals. Maybe buy a second armament kit. Throw the plastic away, just keep that extra sheet of water slides because you're gonna friggin' need it. At this point, I've determined the, the hero side of the missiles, okay, the side facing outwards like that on either side of the double pylon, that's gonna get most of its stickers. The inside will get uh, fewer because I've already frickin' destroyed at least one of each major decal for these missiles, for the most part, as far as the word blocks go. The stripe, okay. I broke the stripe, too! Just, just dabbing it down with a Q-tip. The thing just it exploded. So here. So I think I figured it out. Um, they don't move around well. The glue is different on them. They do not move around well. So use Mr. Mark's setter before you put the decal on. Don't use any of this on these decals. I mean, this, I always thought Tamiya, uh, Tamiya Mark Fit Strong was a little too strong. Mark Fit and Mark Fit Strong would destroy Tamiya water slides. Well, you know what? Um, this didn't destroy anything. I don't think anything, I think anything could destroy these decals. Like if you dipped your brush in vinegars, whatever the, the home remedies, don't use the mark softer. These things are soft enough to begin with. They crumple and fall apart at, at the drop of a of, of a of a rat's ass hair. Like it's so bad. So either way, rant over. I'll be back. Missiles will be done. Uh, we'll be back to normal. Uh, <coughs> we're finally done. After many cans of paint and many cursings, words being said, we're done. Uh, Spare camera batteries charging. Uh, beer's about half full. Yeah. Not the first, and not the fifth. So yeah, exactly. Um, here's what we're left with. 
after this giant kit. Now this is a giant rolling craftsman toolbox. Look at that. Those are your parts trees, sprues, runners, whatever you want. Sorry, yes. A friend gave me a riot shield. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Um, water slides. We got a lot of water slides left. A lot. I mean, Jesus, hundred bucks and and we got all our stickers, we got our spare leftover stuff from the Gur Walk and the standard Valkyrie kit. And then, oh my god! We're handheld guys, sorry about the shakiness. Here we go. I mean, if you see this pile of Master Grade and Re100 and High Grade and whatever boxes, and this is on the bed of an F-150, there's a six and a half foot bed. You can fit a four by eight sheet of plywood in this thing. And this massive monster is finally done. Not for uh, lacking of my own sanity happening. Oh, the autofocus on this Sony. There's our clear orange paint on that. Skull Squadron. Report. Yes. Get some clear blue in this little guy. Sorry, the lighting's a little odd. We're not, you know, under ideal conditions here on the bed of the truck. Luckily, this bed cover is very slick. So it lets us move pretty smoothly. Look at this monster. This thing is ginormous. Okay. Yeah. All right. Someone's gonna pick out a mistake or two or an omission or see the lack of some detail. You know, there's, there's a decent amount of detail going on here. Did the landing lights clear? Got those little guys orange, cause why the hell not? It's my kit, I can do what I want. Yeah. So, there we go. That's it, okay? Um, so we do have a couple giveaways. Uh, the last video, I asked you to answer my question about my rantings about other model companies because I said it like 75 times. That was part two. Um, that giveaway will be a high grade from somewhere in here. And then if you answer the question in this video, you have to watch it. It's not in the description. Then you will get and I hope to God you live in the United States along with any other thing I got to ship anybody. You'll get the real grade Crossbone X1. And there we go. I'm going to do something. You know, after this kit, we need to build something easy. We need an easy, but this was a tough build. So we need an easy build after this. I don't know. An easy build? Well, maybe this, like, maybe this little high grade Leo that we, we, we got recently, I don't know. Or maybe, oh my God, what is that? Yeah, that's not the bust model. Oh, oh, it's it's the whole friggin' thing. I don't know. Eh, eh, no, not easy enough. Oh, definitely not easy enough. Oh God, I'm YouTube flex, am I, am I backlog flexing here, guys? I may be backlog flexing. Yeah, probably, eh, whatever. I don't get the flex anymore. I'm past my, I peaked at 17. So, you know, this is the only flexing I get to do. This thing, F you Zentradis, we're coming. But then the Zentradis were our friends. So F you, Robotech Masters, whatever. All right, depends on which timeline and country of origin you get your Macross slash Robotech from. But yeah, that's it, guys. All right. She's done. She's going to go on the dining table, piss off my wife, and then maybe I'll take it to work and put it on my uh, my side table near my near my desk. And then, you know, random people will come in and be like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, Bleh. because, you know, I, nobody talks to me. 
So this way at least somebody will ask me a question besides, oh, why is the internet not working? Yeah, exactly. Alrighty, that's it everyone. Part 3 is done. Giveaway winner will be announced in the comments if you watch this whole video. Adios!